Ready to fight? Ready. Big fight deal here in Chicago, Illinois. We are inside United Center. The house that Michael Jordan built. Good to be back in the Midwest where there are droves of mixed martial arts. You know, John, championships are won in this building. You see the Michael Jordan statue out front. You know that it's something special. The fans are in for something special tonight. It's going to be loud tonight in Chicago, Illinois. Hands up! Useful hook there. Nice combination lands to the head. Well, DC, they say styles make fights. We haven't had much of a fight here through the first minute. Hasn't been to this point. I mean, I don't have much to say, and I always got something to say. over the top and now his opponent in a world of trouble. Beautiful level change. Make him think you're going low and come right over the top with that beautiful overhand. Great punch. Oh, that's big. Both unwilling to take a step back. What a phenomenal fight. Oh, right hit. Oh, big shots getting through. Trying to inflict some damage here, but misses with the kicks. Well, I'm no fighter, but if I rock a guy to that extent, I feel like I'm closing the show. Absolutely. You got to go close the show if you get a guy hurt that bad. You cannot back off and take your time. He's right for the picking. Go and pick the fruit. <laughs> oh, looks like a cut has just opened up on his forehead now. Oh, nice elbow. I cannot believe he is still standing after taking that punch. Nice leg kick. Look for him to throw that overhand here again. Sneaky body kick lands under the elbow. All right, so now we start to see some redness underneath the elbow. You got to think he's going to continue to attack. <laughs> up a cut on his forehead. Uh, perfect shot there, DC, and one more of those, he might be out. I mean, the fight is gonna be over. I can't believe he's still standing. That shot landed perfect. Oh, now he's gonna find himself in a little more danger. Oh, and he escapes up to his feet. Very nice. Busy in the clinch, lands that punch. Final seconds of round one. You see the cut on his forehead sustained in that round. The cut man has 60 seconds now to close it up and try to prevent. All right, let's check out some of the action from that previous round. DC, and what a display on the feet. Huge knockout. You ready to fight? Ready. Go. All right, round two. Well, this is crazy that this fight is still going on. An appreciative crowd obviously getting behind both fighters. Both guys just brawling like crazy in that previous round. They both came with an idea that they would collect $50,000 extra dollars. And right now, I am certain that they're both going to receive that check. Trying to land the elbow there to no avail. All right, so the cut really starting to open up wider now, and you got to credit this striker for... Just missed with the leg kick. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. 
All right, so now we start to see some bruising appearing on the torso and all of that courtesy of the body work of his opponent. Just the, the wherewithal to go to the body and the discipline to stay with that approach. I mean, it's just tremendous. You, you see a fighter with a high fight IQ following a game plan, and it's working. Unable to connect with the right hand there. Still I mean, I have no idea. This fight is supposed to be over. And it might not be over now, but it's going to be over very soon. And now they are throwing both sides with conviction. Well, now these kicks are really starting to pile up since he found his range. This could be trouble. All right, well, if you like blood, perhaps this is the fight for you. That cut is really starting to open up wide now. It's starting to open up, but it doesn't seem to be affecting him too bad right now. It's still bloody but it's not really limiting his, his ability to continue. Let's see if he can get through this and win this fight. Well, no denying the durability on the other side, but at this point, you just gotta find that kill shot and get him out of it. A lot of times that comes with reps, that comes with taking your time. You get excited and you wanna finish it because you think it's right there, but at times you just overswing and you miss a lot. He needs to slow down if he wants to get his opponent out of this fight. All right, there it is, yet another strike targeting that already bruised area on his body. Well, you could tell that he had a purpose to come out here, make an investment, and see how it would play out. It seems to be working right now. All right, round three coming up next. All right, there's the horn. What a round it was, DC. And, of course, the seminal moment, that big knockdown that nearly got his opponent out of there for good. Almost finished the fight, but now he needs to... All right, so there's the horn signifying. You ready? You ready? Third Go. round underway. Punch coming, it's blocked. Oh, he lands another strike to the body here, really starting to connect on a lot of strikes to the midsection here in the latter stages of this fight. Strike targeting that already bruised area on the side of his body. Just mixing everything up there. Finding his target, using his punches, his kicks, and everything else to try to do damage to his opponent's body. I love this game plan. Oh, beautiful. Leg kick lands. Oh, that body shot hurt him. Just over three minutes to go in round three. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. This fight's gonna be over. What a great way of mixing up his attack. He didn't stay the course. He mixed it up. He went high when his opponent thought he was going low, and now he's got him hurt very badly. Nice job by the defensive fighter. Just over two minutes to go in our third and final round. Man, his body not looking too good right now. It's not quite Dominic Reyes against Jan Bohovic, but these body strikes really starting to add up. They're starting to pay dividends. You know, he spoke to us about this earlier in the week, how he was going to eat this guy up from bottom to top. He was going to go in reverse. That is exactly what he has done. And he blocks the shot there. Well, no feeling out process tonight. Both fighters invoking damage on the other team. Yes, we knew this would be very competitive. We knew that this was a tough fight. We knew that both guys would be very evenly matched in this fight. But we didn't expect to see this type of war between these two guys.
Yeah, that punch was blocked. Beautiful strike there as he continues to attack that cut. Cut man's gonna have some work to do if we get to the street. All right, the official decision is now in. Here is Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for decision. All three judges score the contest. 29-28. Declaring the winner by unanimous decision, the Ghost! Well, he did not get the finish that he certainly prioritized when we sat down with him in our fighter meeting, but a win is a win. He gets it done by unanimous decision. And he said he wanted a finish, but sometimes your opponent's not willing to play the game. In those instances, all you...